Good morning everyone. So today I'm doing a John Deere six cylinder, uh, very similar to the 4045s that you've seen. Uh, so this one I'm drilling out, the valve guides are wore out. And, and so I'm drilling out those cores because this is a cast iron head that the valve guide is not just an insert, it's actually part of the head. So to do that you have to drill out the core and, uh, and put in a valve guide. And so this one, you can see that there's a little bit of brass in there as that cut is being made. And that's because the previous machinist used K-liners. And if the machine shop says well, we're going to put K-liners in, tell them to do something different because K-liners are no good. They're just a brass insert. They're easy to do because you only really need a drill. You don't need a fancy machine. So if you're in a pinch, then yes, it'll work. But they're just never as good. And so that drill, drill with uh, 0.490, the dimension of the valve guide is 0.502, and so in this next part, this was a ream, so it self-centers into the guide, into the previous hole, but the guide, the, the guide on the drill bit is the same size as the hole. That way it makes make sure that you're directly in the middle of it. They're, they're pretty nice. And so then this one is going to take the hole size from a 0 .490 to a 0 .50. And then having a guide size of four, uh, 0 .502, that gives you a 2000s press. So now my uh, hole is drilled out and I'm ready to drive in some new valve guides. And so I got my, um, my punch set up. Always spray a little penetrating lubricant or whatever you see is best to drive these in especially in aluminum they'll gall up aluminum and it just doesn't work well in cast iron you could probably get away with it but I figure a little bit of penetrating lubricant goes a long way I'd love to get an air hammer for this just haven't gotten there yet tools ain't cheap And so these guides aren't a perfect fit for my uh, for the valves, so then I just ream them out, and and then they have a perfect fit. Getting my uh, three-angle cutter set up 
and so I'll cut these seats and if you haven't seen a little bit more in depth of how this works I've got a video under the the Ford V10 playlist go ahead and look at that and then that'll give you a little more in-depth information and more close-ups NASCAR. I want to be like him when I grow up. Here's a close-up for those of you who haven't seen the other video of the Ford V10. And yeah, just a quick thing, so it cuts three angles in this seat. It's gonna cut a 30 degree at the bottom, a 45 degree in the middle, that'll seat with the valve seat, and then a 6 degree on top is a really doing that increases flow, and it makes it a better seating surface for the valve. Let me know in the comments what you guys like to see as far as content, um, and then if I'm able to do it, I'll 
I'll do it. I don't have full capabilities yet, but I'm getting there. So let me know, and we'll see if I can do it. Thanks for watching.